Hey there. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that The Jeffersons 1975 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Isabel Sanford played the character Louise Jefferson in the TV series when she was 58 years old in 1975. Sadly, on July 9, 2004, she left us due to a heart attack at the age of 86 in Los Angeles, California. We're deeply saddened by her passing. Boss, the day I call George Boss is the day they'll invite Lester Maddox to a Harlem block party. <laughs> call him George. Uh, he... Oh, you got a call. Sherman Hemsley played the character George Jefferson. He was 37 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. July 24, 2012 was a tough one. He left us due to lung cancer at 74 years old in El Paso, Texas. It's a sad loss for all of us. I didn't know the Jeffersons had a couple. A couple of what? <laughs> Made in a bottle, you Spicy. And then it all came about with the writing. Like, they give me an argument, then when you're home, you could be more yourself. Roxy Roker played the character Helen Willis in the TV series when she was 46 years old in 1975. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on December 2nd, 1995, she left us after a heart attack at 66 in Los Angeles, California. We're really filling the loss. I should be able to say anything to a friend. Well, a friend who would say anything like that is no friend of mine. Is that the way you want it? Is Franklin Cover played the character Tom Willis. He was 47 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. Sadly, on February 5, 2006, he left us due to a heart attack at the age of 77 in Inglewood, New Jersey. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Now, calm down. It's not worth breaking up over Crazy George. <laughs> Berlinda Tolbert played the character Jenny Willis Jefferson in the TV series when she was 26 years old in 1975. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 74-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Are you kidding? We just got married. I'm not thinking of leaving you alone. Look, Jenny, you got to think of yourself. You've got your own life to live. Of course you got to go. Hey, you trying to get rid of allowed me to get the theater across the street, which I no longer have, but it did allow me to have it for almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. Marla Gibbs played the character Florence Johnston. She was 44 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. Here she is at a cool 92, chilling in Malibu, California, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. Did you ever get the idea to say you were... Chucky, Chucky baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> what a relief. I don't think I'd lasted too long with that famous artist bit. Eleven seasons. We, were, we would have gone on, except they canceled us. But they didn't want anybody to know they canceled us, so they never... Paul Benedict played the character Harry Bentley in the TV series when he was 37 years old in 1975. December 1st, 2008 was a tough one. He left us due to lung cancer at 70 years old in Chicago, Illinois. It's a sad loss for all of us. Diane Stockwell. How do you do? Actually, I shouldn't have made that joke because gravity is no laughing matter, is it? <laughs> it was a dark night except for the moon, which was brighter than the night. 
And uh, I heard that. Zara Cully played the character Mother Jefferson. She was 83 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on February 28, 1978, she left us after a heart attack at 86 in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. We're really feeling the loss. Ned Wertimer played the character Ned Wertimer in the TV series when he was 52 years old in 1975. Sadly, on January 2, 2003, he left us due to a heart attack at the age of 89 in Cedar sinai Medical Center, Los Angeles, California. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Penny, you know who made those things up, don't you? Rich people, to keep poor people happy about being poor. <laughs> Oh, Franklin, just sit down. Franklin, do it every day. He does this all the time. He embarrasses me. Damon Evans played the character Lionel Jefferson. He was 26 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. Here he is at a cool 74, chilling in Valley Village, Los Angeles, California, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. You know, at Oxford, it's an old university tradition to go out with a pole. A and pole what? Or just a pole. Well, that's... I was in junior high school. And my mother and I lived in a, an apartment on... Mike Evans played the character Mike Evans in the TV series when he was 26 years old in 1975. December 14th, 2006 was a tough one. He left us due to lung cancer at 57 years old in Baltimore, Maryland. It's a sad loss for all of us. Well, I think a black one for Mr. Day, a white one for Mrs. Knight, and a plaid one for Jen. <laughs> Jay Hammer played the character Alan Willis. He was 31 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. Check it out. At 79 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life and jam-packed with passions right here in Galveston, Texas. All right. Let's chat. Who is your absolute favorite character from the Jeffersons 1975? Jump into the comments and spill the beans below this video. And as usual, show some love. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and ding that notification bell to never miss my new stuff. I can't wait to cook up more fantastic memories with you. Thanks a bunch, and stay tuned for more. See you all soon.